All right. Hopefully this stream stays going well. Last time some city crashed, so we'll try this again. I just did a quick reboot to make sure that it's going to keep going the way I want it to. Did a little bit of adjusting in the audio arena. And I think I did pretty well. And here we are, back at the city. Got people growing in here. More businesses growing up here. So, what are we going to do today? If anybody has any audio problems, just let me know. I think everything is uh, it's working much better this time, though. Anyway, let's choose what to do with our time today. We've got a lot of possibilities. I'm still debating this whole smelting my own alloy thing. Could be fun. Could be annoying. <laughs> we'll have to see here. But I think we're going to try for our trade depot. For, oh, wait, trade HQ, rather. So we can plop the trade port. And I want to put them kind of around this building. I'm going to put it right at the corner here facing out. I think it would look a lot better. I think that looks good. Yeah. And then we can stop taking local deliveries of that and make sure we export anything that we might have in here. And we're going to switch it out for a trade port. I always call them the wrong thing. we doing on people in this city? I think, I, I mean, it's going to be time pretty quick here to, to put some more residential in. And I'm pretty sure down here we're going to be doing the um, higher wealth stuff. We'll let some medium wealth bleed in across the edge. I, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Kind of want to keep this low wealth in this main center area here. Um, just because industry usually needs a, a larger amount of low wealth jobs. Or low, low wealth workers, rather. Uh, e even this medium industries. Well, I guess it does need a couple, a couple more medium wealth. We'll see here. I'll get on trash. I haven't checked this in a little while. We have some trash. It might be time to add on a Yeah, let's add on a second one of these. And we're starting to get to the point in this city where we have enough money to kind of do whatever we want. Um, need to add on another one of these. And I say kind of do whatever we want because we, we still have to make sure we don't run out of money. And we're operating pretty close to our margin as far as I'm concerned with 2000 uh, oh, oh, more than, you know, you know $2,000 income per hour, so. We'll see how that goes. 20% on our solar array. So that should shrink the size of that when we get there. Oh, and... This stuff wasn't saved from the last time it crashed. We added on a couple more of these. We'll lose a little bit of industrial there, but that's okay. Look at the vitals of our city. Looks like we're picking up all our trash. Still have one fire. We have the small fire station still. I haven't upgraded to the, the bigger one yet. I will eventually here. Um, I just haven't done that yet. And I think we're going to do drones in this city. Uh, Omega kind of makes sense for an industrial city. It, it's just so profitable. Um, so we're, gonna, we're just going to do Omega and uh, 
industrial and manufacturing. And for the manufacturing part, I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to do yet. I, I definitely am going to make processors, which will probably end up converting and er, you know using those processors to make computers. Maybe and TVs. I think I think and TVs because we're going to have an arcology here and might as well diversify a little bit. It's taken forever to sell off. Well, this one's almost empty, so... Maybe they're taking from here first, I'm not sure. We're gonna need quite a few more workers in this city, too, when it's all said and done. <coughs> Excuse me, we currently have Pretty much just enough to keep everybody open, but... In fact, let's start working on this area while it's dark here. Before we want to do something new in the daylight. Um, let's see what we're going to... I think we're going to just have one row here, and we'll put uh, parks on the outside. But let's measure that row. Yeah, something to that effect. Connect it for now, but I don't think we're going to end up connecting it. But I think we are going to connect this side. And let's see what that does to traffic if I do this. Connect it like here, and like here. And then we'll disconnect this end. And let's see what that does to traffic here. I think we're going to alleviate some of the trouble right here because more people will turn down here and come across. Yeah, see that seems to be handling traffic a little bit nicer. Plus, of course, we'll have high-density, nice, beautiful, expensive buildings here. <laughs> Let's see what we can fit on this side. That's a little bit too far. There we go. He's all the way at the edge? Oh, there we go. Because then we can also put a ferry terminal right in here. And then maybe just, we'll, we'll shorten this up and connect it somehow. Um, somehow. <laughs> we do want an exit off of here. Right here. We're going to do residential along this one. We'll do a commercial in the middle because we are going to need to have some high wealth commercial once we bring those guys in. And then we'll do this around the outside. Just do it where we have the possibility for high density buildings. And actually, let's put this ferry terminal in. Oh, wait, maybe I can't do that yet. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I need Department of Transportation, so. I'll wait on, on zoning this section here. We'll have this side zoned, but. And maybe we'll actually convert this into commercial. We'll leave them low wealth for the moment until I decide to wealth up. Or wealth those particular people up. Hey, we got our upgrade to our metals HQ. <clears throat> now comes the decision of what we would like to do. 
commerce division. Well, I won't bother with this because the, the trade HQ will be easy to upgrade over time. You know? Man. Let's smelt it. Why not? Hmm, it'd be nice if I could fit these back to back, but it doesn't look like I can. Now, we have all of these gone, so let's get rid of this. And let's start switching over to our trade port. Uh, there's a smelting factory. Put it right up against the wall here. Actually. Eh, yeah, we'll do it right up against the wall. Or the road. And I shouldn't have... Yeah, I don't have approvals for any of these yet until I do a little bit of upgrading on the uh, trade HQ. But, we're going to put these in. So we have plenty of trucks to help us meet our goals as we need them. So the more trucks you have in the city, the easier it is to import and or export things. Also, the uh, freight terminal helps and stuff. I, don't th I think we're too far away to use the cargo. Yeah, too far from the building. That's okay. You can just use the uh, the freight terminal. That'll work perfectly fine. And I shouldn't have deleted that trade port yet. Or that trade depot yet. <laughs> Always calling on the wrong thing. Because we can still we still have approval for all the stuff here. We'll take this off for now, and we're gonna put in our smelting plant. I think just right up here at the corner. Oh, it won't fit there. All right, we'll put it right along this road. Because it's gonna keep these uh, these buildings up here at low density. Or at medium, at least. Maybe. Yeah, let's just put it here, and we'll kind of fill this area out with its smelting plants here. We don't want a metal furnace. We're going to make all alloy. Alright, let's see. Let's build them back first. Fit a third one? Probably not. Okay. We'll build one here. And I guess we have to build the other one here. Some garages. And let's put the sign just right here. There we go. Now this one's going to need coal. So we'll go over here and we'll put in a coal. I don't want to mine the coal, there's like no coal here, so I'm, I'm just not going to bother with it. I'll just import it. <clears throat> there. Come on, we can build our marriage match. Mayor's Mansion should go down here somewhere, too, because it's so high wealth. Maybe we'll just actually put it right at the corner here. I'm going to take up that whole corner, though. Could put it, like, back up here somewhere. Could put it on this side, actually, too. Hmm. <coughs> we will wait to make our decision. Hmm, that might actually end up being the best. Because then we'll put the, uh... Tra uh the ferry terminal somewhere right over here. Maybe connected just in the middle.
a couple high densities growing in. There we go. Now this has everything. And we actually forgot <laughs> we need to put an alloy plant down so we can uh, start exporting alloy. I think when we close this ore mine, oh, it's closed right now because I don't have people, I guess. I'm waiting on, <laughs> waiting on some more people to grow in down here. Everybody seems pretty happy, so they should should increase density pretty quickly. Oh, we need to add on another one of these. Oh, we need a little bit of money, though. Okay, let's take one of these out. A couple of these off. I think we should have enough to add on another. Yeah, plenty. There we go. While we're at it, mm, we're okay on water, but I think we're going to add another one because we are still growing. Plenty. And oh, it is time for power. <laughs> Oh, there's 16. Alright, looks like we're going to need to take another one of these out, because we're going to have to build a couple of those to cover this amount of power. Yeah, we're going to lose a couple of these industrial buildings for now. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Got it a little bit too close there. I'm actually okay with taking out a couple of those industrial buildings because they will, um, they'll help to, uh, to get more population into the industrial buildings that are there. We we'll still need a little bit more power. There we go. But all the power we're going to be able to get for now until this finishes, which is going to be a little while, so we may not be able to upgrade the city too much. as far as power concerns. And hopefully these guys don't upgrade too fast, or increase density too fast. Otherwise, we'll run out of power again. <laughs> you know, though, we are running a dirty city. We could, and we're importing coal too, we could do a coal one, but... I'm just a bigger fan of solar. It's very solid. You don't have to import anything for it. It's just, you don't have to worry about it blowing up like uh, nuclear. I just, I think it works the best for me. Obviously, everybody likes their own thing, so. Do what you will. Still need workers of pretty much every kind. But how are the rest of our stats doing here? We're definitely still picking up all our garbage. Better on fires. Maybe people get more educated. Still some people getting injured. Uh, most of them getting treated pretty quick though. We could add on I mean we don't we haven't added on any, any ambulances yet, so. And crime is still doing good, even with our just our little regular police station. Could use a few more students. A bit better percentage of the population, but we'll get there. Mm 
There's not too many people taking the bus yet. But I think we're going to take the buses out of the city. Um, and do this all maglev when we get it. So I'm not sure if I want to expand the bus system yet. Because these these guys too are going to be, you know, high wealth. And high wealth people don't ride the bus. Traffic is doing all right. Got some people up here commuting to and from work. And this little roundabout going in actually works out pretty well. <clears throat> As do these, really. It just depends on where people are going. So I figure a lot of people from this side of the, the residential area will just drive up here to go to work. And a lot of people from this side will just drive up here to go to work. And then we have this one that can help, you know, trucks get out, and people get up to this higher part of the area. It, it all just depends on where they're going. I tried to split up traffic pretty well. Um, I kind of did an okay job, but <laughs> we'll see. Let's see where our population is. Yeah, traffic is, is seems to be flowing a lot better than it was before. And like I said, now we're kind of splitting up traffic here for people to be able to get into the, the school. And that way, if one of these is backed up, they can go a different way. Oh, speaking of, we forgot to, uh, forgot to put these at medium density. They're high. Okay, that should help the flow just a little bit. Same with this one. Everybody seems to be getting to school pretty well. And there's a bit more shopper commuting than I'd like. Um, and that's why I tried to zone these, you know, as a mixture of commercial and, and residential. So they didn't have to go far. But it's not too bad. You can still see a lot of people walking, which is what we want. Plus, when we get drones, that'll help a lot, too. I think we're definitely going Omega with this city. We might even use some Mega Towers here. Over time, I might redevelop this area to be basically just everybody living out of Mega Towers for the most part. Looks like it's time to add on another one of these. So I'm plenty fine on water. Power. Well, we're still only halfway there. We may need to add a temporary power plant. Um, in fact, let's do that now because I'm not using this area over here. So we'll put this in for the moment. I don't know what, what help really signs do for, for buildings like this, but I like to put them down. Let's make sure we have some room to grow. That should be good for now. And like I say, this one's temporary for now. Maybe we'll even decide that we want all of our industrial up here and we'll take the solar plant out and put it over here or something. But I think I'd rather use this area for uh, people. Now I'm going to try to keep... What I'm going to do today is I'm probably going to stream for several hours. So I'm going to keep this... Uh, I'm going to try to chop it up in chunks of an hour so that it, it can upload to, to YouTube pretty well. And so the highlights work pretty well. I know an hour is a little bit long for highlights for uh, Twitch, but that's kind of the way I'm doing this is in as a series with episodes, you know, each about an hour long. 
Um, first one was only a half hour. I had, had some real bad streaming problems that day, and I'm not sure what was going on, but it seems fine now, so I'm even more baffled as to what was happening that particular day. Probably my wife watching Netflix or something, tanking my bandwidth. <laughs> Got some more people increasing uh, density here, which is great. I like these guys. Look very nicely high density. And it looks like I, I might play with this a little bit. Try to push these over and get this to, to, to grow into one more high density, but I don't think there's enough room. Because this one should too, and says there's not enough room. There's something between those. Maybe, maybe we can get it to go. I think I don't think there's enough room here though. But we we can we can start pushing those over a little bit and kind of get them to fit as, as we need. Again though, this m whole area up here may end up turning into a mega tower someday. Play it by ear. There's our trading HQ upgrade. Which means we're gonna put down the metals plant. Wait, we just need that. Or the metals, uh, metals do There we go. Just need to use that one so we can have better lots from this one. So we can import our coal, export our ore, and export our alloy very easily. And. Oh, I don't like that. It doesn't like to fit up here. I wonder if we take a couple of these out if it will. I'd kind of just like to put this right up here, but it looks like this... I don't know. There we go. That's definitely where I want it. Because then we'll do coal. Or, yeah. Well, there's a little bit of room here that it's, I mean, I could use up, but whatever. It looks fine. Four coal, and we need an alloy locked. And then we want to tell it to import coal, export alloy, and export ore. And we'll turn this one off. And we'll turn this one off. Actually, we don't even need to turn it off. We can just demolish it. There's nothing there. And this may end up being the new location for our fire station. Hmm, haven't made up my mind on that. May end up being an extension for the trading HQ, too, because uh, may not, I, I may not only be able to fit one here and may not be able to get any farther out, so. We shall see. Ah. Huh. Now we're at a dilemma, because the next level is going to be very hard to hit. It's going to be very high. 292 or so thousand people it usually needs to be. And do I want to tax people differently? Since I'm going to have several different wealths and everything. Or do I want transportation? Tourism would be nice, but there's no tourism in this city, so I'm not worried about it. Hmm. It's a tough decision. So I'd like to be able to tax people differently. But I'd also like to be able to have... Have transportation. Well, we don't have another city yet in this region, so let's not bother with the transportation. We're going to do the tax, and we'll put the transportation on later. That'll be our next, next one we hit. Now with the tax level like that, we can put these guys at 12, and these guys at 10. If you didn't know, I'm sure many people do by now, but just in case you don't, 
low wealth people, you can tax them up to 12%, medium wealth up to 11%, and low uh, and high wealth up to 10%, and they won't move out, which is helpful. They'll move in a little bit slower, but usually I'm okay with that. Um, it helps to keep the game balanced, for me anyway. Let's take a couple of these off since we can. And I think we're going to put in our mayor's mansion. Right, actually. Oh, trade HQ stuff. Mm, let's not do the processor factory quite yet. And let's not do those yet. We'll do that in a little bit here. We'll, we'll do Omega and get, get started with doing that. Let's put in our mayor's mansion here first, because I want I'm gonna get some higher wealth people in this city to help with the uh, population need at that end. We'll just do it right here. Oh, very nice. These guys are all growing up. Population's looking healthy. We dipped under our 75 grand, but I think that's because of uh, these couple buildings coming in. So we'll, we'll go well over that in a little bit. Zeebo. Still working on that research. It's going to be a little while. Yeah, we have a lot of low wealth jobs. I'm working on moving those people in though. Yeah, see now we're up over 83,000 just with, now that these couple have finished. Got another one coming in here. I don't think, um, yeah. The mayor's mansion doesn't start increasing um, land value until you start putting stuff on it. And we may have to adjust this because there's a commercial here, but maybe we'll keep this commercial here because that will definitely go high wealth. And it'll help to serve these high wealth people that, that happen. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here yet. I didn't leave myself a lot of room for parks along the edge. But I might be able to fit a few things. Or I might take out like one building and, and put it in there. Because this is commercial in this section as well. Yeah, I see 292000 for our next upgrade. I believe... Yep, we can get rid of this one now, too. Save ourselves a little more money there. In fact, let's take out this whole road. And let's rearrange the solar panels here so we can build some, some more stuff over here. They'll fit at least a couple going straight up there. Oh, well, maybe I can fit one. <laughs> okay. rezone some of this. I suppose we'll keep this zone, but I do want to... Oh, there, yeah, it went. Alright. So now that we've put something down, we should have a... Uh... Yeah, see, some high wealth area. Starting anyway. Now that we're starting to get close to a hundred thousand people, we got some traffic again. But I think we have more people probably using the bus. No, nope, still about three, three thousand, three thousand five hundred. I thought more, more of them would use the bus. No one can get up to where they're going with the bus, so... 
Hmm. I'm not sure why more aren't using it. Well, I guess we don't have that many, um, as far as percentage goes, we don't have that much uh, education, so. So I think educated sims use the bus more, if I remember correctly. Not positive. But we're producing a good amount of alloy per day. Got everything fine there. No garbage. Which means we have the correct amount of incinerators for now. This road may end up needing to move a little closer to because um, if I want to put a fourth incinerator there, I don't think I'm going to have room. Pretty sure I have room for a third one. Oh, I don't even have room for a third one. So when I need to put another one in, we're going to have to move this road some more. Um, which is good because I don't like this intersection here anyway, so good. Ah, we can upgrade our school. Of course, the second thing I should probably put down is a school of engineering. Hmm. You know, a little trick, if you didn't know, if you draw these roads first, you can fit, you know, if you draw these roads out from the side first, you can fit a building in here. See? Like that. If you don't, if you put the building down first, okay, let's put this down first, you can't do it. So, another little bit of cool information, or, I don't know, I think it's cool. Good to know anyway. There we go. And let's put that school of engineering in. And probably along the back here we'll put some uh I don't know, some things. Whatever we need to. get some backups here and there, but everything seems to, to get flowing fairly decently. I don't know why these guys don't decide to just go straight to get to school, because I think that's where they're going. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know why they don't just change their mind, because they're like, oh, this road's all busy, let's go straight out. See, they, now they did. I don't know. Sometimes, because I think the glass box engine is supposed to react that way, with, uh, you know, finding routes to get to places. If one if one gets real busy, then they'll pick a different route. But it seems to be slow. Like, they'll wait for, you know, an hour trying to get onto this one little road instead of just changing their mind when they see the road is busy and just going. So, may just be a little bit of a limitation of the engine. Um, I'm not sure yet. But it looks like we got even more high density coming in. Looking good. Got some of these that are going up to um, high tech level, which is cool too. It's like these guys, high tech level. So, I mean, it looks like we need some medium wealth stuff there. And that should be affecting our land value pretty well now. I mean, still have a little bit of room. Maybe that's what I'll do right here, is I'll put in something for land value. Let's see. Here. these. Yeah, let's put two of these. If you heard my phone go off, that was my wife texting me. There we go, we got some of these going up in density, or up in, uh, in wealth. 
And hopefully that'll help fill some of our medium job, medium wealth jobs a little bit better too. <laughs> so, so okay, I'll have to tell you the joke that she just texted me. Uh, it was basically, what does a subatomic duck say? And I don't think she think I, I don't think she thought I would knew the answer, but of course he did. It, it's quark. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm too much. Maybe I'm too big of a nerd, and I find that funny, but nobody else does. So <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now we don't have high density high wealth yet, but we got some medium density high. -wealth. We do have some high density medium well, which is very good. Hopefully, that'll start filling some of that demand. Um, one of these had a. Uh, yeah, I like this one. It's got 15 low wealth, but not, you know, it's not filling that out, so. I think that'll help to e even that out, maybe get some more profit in those businesses. Small fires everywhere. Yeah, it's starting to get time to uh, to do some Omega and uh, get get drones. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do that before I do pro. No, let's make processors first and then let's do drones because then we'll be able to um, to hit everything or to you know to to power the processors with that. So I don't care for the commerce division because I have the trade HQ. Let's just put in the engineering division, even though I'm probably not really going to use it. Oh, it's small though, I like that. Let's put it there. Oh, so that's advanced coal mine, and doesn't that give me the... Oh, no, that's right, these are Omega. Hmm, okay. In time, in time. I'm going to let the city run for just a moment. I have to run and grab another cup of coffee. I will be right back to the stream. Enjoy. Watch the city. Make sure it doesn't burn down for me. All right, back with another delicious cup of my life's blood. <laughs> Hello, looks like we had somebody burn down their building. That's not cool. A couple people. Yeah, we definitely need to get some drones in here. I think in the meantime, we'll throw a couple more of those on to help increase response time. Or, I suppose it's decrease response time.
Otherwise, most of you seem to be getting around already. I usually wait to put this down because I like to put it towards the back with the extension on, so I'll wait a little bit on that one. All growing up so nice. So I think it's time to start doing processors. I'm gonna see if I can fit a processor plant in here that I'll be able to expand. Ah yes, advanced coal mine. So if I put one in here, I can do I think if I do that, I can fit what I'm trying to fit here, which is two of these this way, and then one. Oh, look at that. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll have to add import plastic. Which we may have to add that trade depot back on until we can do the uh, do the other upgrades for this. So let's put another trade depot in, and this one's just going to do plastic. We'll actually probably keep this one here for a little while because we're going to need to export those processors for now. So we're going to do that here as well until we can uh, add it on. I think we need to have the electronics HQ plopped and I think that automatically opens up the processor plant at the trade port. Ha! <laughs> Got all the words right. <laughs> anyway, let's tell this to import some plastic and export some processors. I don't know that we're going to recycle in this city. We might recycle in another city and just send the trucks over. Kind of make that decision as we go here. Um, how much does this put out per day? Alloy produced 96 tons per day. And this one, I think, only consumes 48, so we should be able to export still, but we'll see in a minute here once it starts going. And I think we're going to cut the video for now. I'll be right back. I'm just going to make this a highlight. And then we'll continue on with episode 5 shortly after this. And if you enjoy my stream, go ahead and follow me there. You'll know every time I stream live. Or if you're watching After the Fact on YouTube, go ahead and leave me a comment. And I'm happy to take comments and try to improve my city. As, as I'm sure I've missed some things here and there. But if you're watching live on the stream, I'll be right back. I'm just going to restart the stream. 